Hey, have you ever wondered what are the best tips and tricks in B-Swarm Simulator that I should be using right now? Or have you wondered, hey, I've been slowly progressing in this game. I should probably get some tips and tricks. Well, if you have been wondering that, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 tips and tricks every single B-Swarm Simulator player should know. Why is my game moving so, why is my game so smooth right now? I don't even know, don't question it. And why do I have no coconuts? And I don't know, just start the video. All right, the first tip that you should be doing, and this is a very easy and nice good tip, is uh, actually using your like nectars. You should always be using your nectars. This is a simple tip, but people don't do it. I mean, people do do it, but mid game players don't usually do it. So this is a good step in the right direction if you're actually trying to get up there in the leaderboards or be good at the game. I'm terrible at the parkour. But yeah, if you're trying to be good at the game, then you want to have a lot of nectars. So yeah, next tip. So the next tip is, is bug runs like bug runs and monster runs like this werewolf right here mr werewolf please die thank you and never giving me anything i actually want thanks and like these mantises the bug runs ladybugs i forgot the other bugs and yeah like yeah bug runs you know, you know simple things simple bug runs can give you a lot of materials in a short amount of time like you could even get like red extracts and glitters and sometimes like maybe if you're lucky you could probably get like a golden egg or maybe even even a diamond egg all luck there's a windy bee here you even notice that but yeah well since we're here i can go on to the next tip which is how to kill the coconut crab really easily it's a glitch but like a tip at the same time you go on the edge of the thing right here not right here go back up and if you have no boots you just click on go on this ledge and then jump across like that now you have that ship lock it's kind of difficult but it's possible I am so bad at this. All right, yeah, right there. All right, so I'm here right here, and then I'll start attacking him. And when the coconut drops, when he starts doing his coconut move, you have to jump at the exact perfect time so where point it just doesn't hit you. Like, look, I'm gonna show you. You know, actually drop a coconut on me. Okay, you see right there, jump. I'm so bad at this. I'm dead. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god. All right, so you got a perfect time the coconut right here, and it'll do the boom like that. Boom. You gotta keep doing that over and over and eventually you'll kill him it'll take quite some time but you don't take any damage you don't gotta do nothing you just gotta keep jumping it's simple easy and not hard to do so yeah next tip the next trick is if you go over to the sprinklers you're like actually at the sprinklers and you actually have all of them or not all of them like mostly all of them if you have the diamond one you equip the diamond one right here i have it equipped for some reason but you equip the diamond one and you'll go over here to this dude and then you'll use your diamond sprinkler you know how if you click it once say cannot free sprinklers too close to each other but if you go up to it and you jump and you click it like you have to do it a couple times and it'll eventually work all right just like that and look you can place it right next to each other so you have yourself a line of just the diamond sprinklers if you can actually see it the line you have a diamond sprinkler then do this it's just a worse version of the supreme it is something the next tip is actually leveling up your bees i see a lot of people and i mean a lot of people just not leveling up their bees and just wasting their honey on things that are not important if you're just gonna keep buying hive slots you at least need to level up your bees to a certain point to the point where you just can't level them up anymore and then you start buying more hive slots and level them up even more that's what you gotta do because i see a lot of people just be buying hive slots and their bees be like they have 40 something hive slots and their bees be level like a lot it's just not good and you shouldn't be doing that so don't even do that no point and yeah on to the next tip all right so this next tip is not a uh it's like i don't i don't know how to explain it but you know the spirit bear right the, the the bear that talks way too much on where i just get agitated and leave the game that bear yeah this bear right here you, she has multiple storylines and quest lines and she can give you three spirit petals which one can give you to the one for the petal wand one for the petal belt and one for the windy bee if you didn't already buy him when he came out so no the first uh spirit petal you'll actually get is the one you're supposed to use on petal wand and then if you already have windy b from buying him from the pack that he came out of from like a long time ago then you don't need to worry about this but if you don't then your second one should go to windy b so you can get him faster and then your third one should go to petal belt but the pedal belt's gonna take way too long to actually get. You're just gonna have to grind a lot, but it's gonna be worth it because they're very useful. And a lot of people like to say, what if I use my pedal, my spirit pedal on the Windy Bee first? Won't that make me better? Which I disagree entirely because I do spirit bears quest line and you need the pedal wand because porcelain dipper is all right but the pedal wand is just better and i think you need the pedal wand to actually do spirit bears quest so yeah either way do those next tip all right so the next tip is actually planters like uh nectar planters uh just planters you place in the field like the ticket planter or whatever planters i have the blue clay or the red clay 
or the candy or the, the the other one that I don't know of. I need to actually go over there. Yeah, like these over here. I actually open the shop. The plastic, candy, tacky, pesticide, and the plenty of planters. This, uh, they're like the ripoff macros. If you don't have macros, then you want to use these. But if you do have macros, then you want a macro. Either way, they're pretty cheap for the price. Other than the planter printer, that's pretty expensive. But everything else is pretty cheap, like the blue clay and the red clay. Stuff like that. Yeah, like the blue planter, the blue clay and the red clay are pretty decent and they're actually really good if you're afk macro planters are very good use those yeah you can also get like different items inside the planters like if you have a festive planter you can have a chance to get a festive bean uh if you have a festified planter you have a chance to get a star tree or a mythic egg but it's really low you have a chance for that planter planties you have a chance to get turpentine and all that other good stuff yeah festive planter can give you turpentine as well but yeah it's just they can give you a lot of loot and they also give you nectar which is the only plus side about them the nectar is very good and it's like needed if you're trying to progress in this game anyways next tip the next tip is like if you're on the stage of the game to the point where you're buying your first mid game mask or any of the mid game masks then the first mask or the mask i would tell you just not to get is the fire mask the bubble mask if you're that if you're at that stage of the game because you'll probably be at that stage of the game and you'll already have the badge area already locked and you'll be able to almost buy the honey mask so it would be smart in your way and to get the honey mask first and then get the fire mask and bubble mask later down the line for your end game mask which is just a smarter option to go towards because you just be wasting a lot of materials because the bubble mask and the fire mask are just not as good as the honey mask especially when you're in that stage of the game because you're not having a certain type of thing you're just a mixed hive or at least you should be if you're not a mixed hive then uh i don't know i honestly don't know what to say just th buy the honey mask it's just not really that hard to do and i need to drink water because my throat is hurting so yes next tip all right so the next tip it's you didn't like using all your materials like you go scroll up and you'll see that i have 360 stingers because i use a lot of my stingers because i don't need them there'd be no reason you should use your stingers if you're using your stingers and you don't have fishes be or you don't have the demon mask or you don't have the, the guards or in the shop right here then there should be literally no reason you're using any of your stingers and you use your stingers for this thing too which is only cost 200 stingers but that's not too much because you can buy stingers but i want to suggest buying it unless you're elo which you, you're just breaking the ticket thing and then you can buy it because you have a lot of tickets but other than that don't use your stingers don't use your gumdrops because your gumdrops can be useful a lot of people use them because they think they're boosting but they're not they're not boosting because they don't even have gummy bee and that's why it's not great you need gummy bee which is 2500 gumdrops which is a lot for when you're at that stage of the game because you can also buy them but they cost a lot of tickets so it's not recommended buying them but you can if you want to make it easier on yourself but either way don't use those materials for no reason coconut same thing i don't even know what happened to my coconuts i think i left them on overnight but it doesn't matter i swear i've made this so many times i said this so many times just don't waste your materials please thank you thank you all right next tip all right so the next tip is very simple and it's very easy uh black bear like you know the bears in the game right they have black bear mother bear science bear dapper bear robo bear spear bear panda bear i forgot the other bears <laughs> but yeah there's there's a lot of bears in the game and a lot of people waste their time just doing black bear quests when they could be doing mother bear and black bear or they could be doing mother bear black bear and science bear science bear black bear mother bear and panda bear and pulled the bear. A lot of these people just don't do any of the quests. They just stick on one dude, like this guy right here. They just stick on him and they're wasting a lot of their time because you can do your mother bear quest and eventually get that free star treat that she gives you. Or you can do your panda bear quest, which she can give you that free mythic egg that he gives you. Then with science bear, you need it for the talk to stick bug, Riley bee, and buckle bee, which you need for the end game tools. So it's just not smart to do only one quest like black bear but he, he does give you good stuff like a diamond egg and a mythic egg but it's just not useful to use only do him so that's all i gotta say next tip all right so the next tip is a very simple tip is uh a lot of people don't a lot of people don't do this a lot of beast swarm players do not do this tip so you need to listen to this best tip on this video go outside that's all you need to do just go outside if you're playing this game too much go outside you need sleep so sleep you need vitamin d so go outside and drink water make sure to do that <clears throat> egg segment of the video all right so this is the egg segment of the video this is the part where i tell you guys to like and subscribe so i can uh become a good and big youtuber and surpass mr beast so 
yes. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. And can we get hmm, like go like go? Can we get five likes on this video? Five likes. That y'all can I know it's hard, but can you do it? Just five likes, please. That would help me a lot. Much appreciated. My Discord server link in description. My Twitch also linked in the description check that out also you're probably wondering where i've been through these this whole entire week uh i've been busy with my school i'm trying to get my stuff situated before i start keep continuing to do youtube so thank you for, for your patience and just waiting i know with the chit chat i talk too too much i just talk too much i need water i'm gonna go to sleep after this video i'll see you guys later peace